everything. Everybody, hurry. Sound speed. Some camera speeds. Oh, one, I can't take have one. This. Mark. I'll look at myself. Quickly, the hurry. Whole time. He's freaking Let's... out. He's freaking Elizabeth? out. Elizabeth? Yes. Chill. I was helping you. I was matching your energy. That's what a friend's here I for. I don't think. Okay, we're not going to fight. I'm... I'm. No, we're not fighting. I'm matching your energy. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Lizzie Gordon. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to our Barbie release week theme podcast. Yeah, yeah. I am honestly very excited, more so for what we're doing today than yes. I think the actual movie itself. Oh, I'm not. Oh. I'm more excited for the actual movie because I have a whole fucked up crazy day planned. Are you going to... What? Yep. Are I you... already bought tickets. I'm seeing Oppenheimer in the morning and I'm seeing... And then I'm going to lunch and then I'm getting Barbie after that. You're double teaming it? Yeah. And I'm dressing up. Like this? Well, not like this. I'm going to... That's why I got the shoes. Okay. I got Barbie shoes. I got the Barbie shoes to wear with my Barbie dress, and I'm going to look like an atomically scorched Barbie. I, like, really like what I did with myself today. You look so cute. I'm actually annoyed. I have these bright pink tight pants that I got in Palm Springs. You look like Harry Styles. And we went to Target, honestly, because there's some Barbie-themed grocery store foods that I really wanted to get. There mm -hmm. was popcorn. Mm -hmm. There was a swoon drink. I've never heard of that mm -mm. brand before. Hi, honey. And Target didn't have either of those things, but they did have a shit ton of Barbie-themed clothes. Yeah. But exciting for us, Cold Stone has come out with a Barbie collab. Thank God. And Pinkberry which I thought was extinct. I thought Pinkberry was disgusting. No? What? Am I wrong? It's frozen yogurt. But it's like healthy. No. It's like healthy. You know what? Shane and I were ordering from a Greek restaurant and it was just straight up Greek yogurt frozen. Yeah. Oh, I'm addicted. Do you know what's really delish? What? Greek yogurt with a little bit of Nutella and a cut up strawberry. Mm, honey, I thank you for the bath. Honey, do you want to get up in here? <laughs> but I feel like yeah, the sounds are a lot. Come on, come, come on, up and be a, a podcaster. Just a good girl. girl. Yeah. She needs Barbie stuff. Um, okay, so we're going to get in the car and do all that in just a second. We're going to have a photo shoot because we look fabulous. Yes, we do. But do you want to talk about what's been going on with you? Oh, my God. Okay, so I, Joe and I went to see... Uh, Insidious 5 last uh, night. Chris has been begging ever since we've gotten here. And I said, Chris, you would have to pay me to go see that movie Bro. with you. And it's not you. It's the movie itself. We Have you heard of a 2D movie theater? No. I, I don't. I'd never heard of that either. I thought everything was two dimensional, but maybe I'm a fucking moron. It's the, This was different. The sound design was so hectic that every time there was a big boom or like a build in the music, like our chairs were like. Oh, yes. No, I have been experienced that. It was fucking horrifying. It was fucking horrifying. And all this weird supernatural shit goes on in the movies. Like if you know this, the series you're, or like the franchise or whatever, you know what this is all about. Right. I'm not going to do any spoilers, but it scared the absolute fuck fuck shit out of me and you liked it <laughs> i love oh i love this i love that whole oh yeah because shane was like the reviews so far have been bad so oh, chris couldn't get shane there it wasn't mm. what is my dog doing she's just living it Give up her some love. <laughs> it wasn't that it was good I just enjoyed my experience. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's stupid. Like okay. I was laughing. Right. It's not. She's licking her pussy. This right is in not front the time, us. girl. I don't know if that's gonna get us is... demonetized. Honey, you're so think gorgeous. Think about the money, honey. <laughs> um. So it's not that the movie was good. Like 50 minutes into it, I felt like Joe and I were looking at each other, like, "What the fuck is this?" Like honestly, it wasn't good, but it was fun when it was scary. Okay. And it wasn't like scary, scary. What is going on? <laughs> this is good for me, honestly, because <laughs> I just remembered there's like this weird conspiracy theory going on that we're hiding honey and oh. that, like something what? happened to honey and we're hiding her because she wasn't in Shane's last vlog and she wasn't in my last vlog. And it's like surprising at how many people are alarmed that we're hiding honey. Like me thinking Kanye is not real. And so this almost <laughs> feels like I've like let her out of like dog prison. It's a hologram. She's not real. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my dog who just so casually walked up. Your prettiest dog. She just wanted to go. She really is. She doesn't photograph yeah. as well as she looks in real life. Oh, she's I'm just going to say that as like a parent who loves her. Yeah. But like when you see her in real life, she She's breathtakingly gorgeous. Like, honest to God, gasping. Gasping, gagging, deceased. Okay, so you had fun at the movie. I had fun at the movie, and then, so, but that's not my story. Oh, gosh. So, no when matter it what, start? it's started, but you keep fucking interrupting it with your uh, sorry, I lesbian just, it's dog. It's hard for me to care about Insidious for some reason. But the, I just had to give you the backstory. Okay. I went to see I Insidious, love it. I and love it. it scared I'm right here with you. I'm on the edge of my seat. <gasps> <laughs> and it scared me and it's scary cut to three o'clock in the morning my bastard son icarus has to go potty okay 
And I hate taking him out at night because it's scary. Mm-hmm. But Joe fucking sleeps through everything because he's a, a nightmare and he's just snoring. And I'm like, okay, I'll take Icarus, even though I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to the fucking airport. I'll take him out at 3. 3 is the witching hour. It's when demons come out to play. So when this motherfucker wakes up at exactly 3 in the morning, it always scares me extra. I'm like, does Zeke have to pee or is it ghosts and goblins? This is why I don't see scary movies. So I'm fucking tripping out of my, and I'm just like, it's easier to just take and pee than to wake up Joe because Joe's extra nasty to me when I go like, baby. I'm sorry. I'm scared of ghosts. Can you take the dog? It's like the wife's responsibility. Shane's never going to help me in. But I'm like fucking scared. And it's like if anyone's ready to face a ghost, it's fucking Joe. So I get up and I like walk this dumbass dog to the kitchen to take him potty. And we get out there and I start hearing these crazy fucking noises coming from the cabinets in the kitchen going. Are you making this up? No, I'm not making this up. That's on Barbie what, release week? <laughs> on Barbie release week. This is what's happening to me last night. Then I had tried to turn the lights on the kitchen, on in the kitchen. The kitchen lights don't go on. And electricity is what they say is the first thing spirits fuck with. Then the lights start flickering and You're fl- lying. I am not lying. On Barbie release week? On Barbie week? release week. I can't even say it. Like I'm tripping, it's bro. It's entered your body. Dude, the ghost. Get out of my house. Don't say that to You're my body. You're bringing it to Stop. my house. Me. <laughs> no, you're I got it at your house. As I went in your as, living no, room no. at the other house. As soon as I started, you started talking. You couldn't speak. I know I'm when you're fucked. talking about the maybe because I'm fucking tired because I was haunted all night. And this is why I don't let Chris take me to Insidious. <laughs> so, Fuck you guys. So the lights are flickering nonstop, and then the oven starts acting a fool. The oven, because my oven, when it's like ready to do something, it, goes, it has like a chime jingle that it does, like that's what my dryer does. So my fucking oven starts going off like that i was like i am not the one and i'm such a bad mom because like had it been bubs i would have picked him up and run back to bed but it was icky and i was like fuck you icky i'm not doing because he he bulldogs with me you're admitting you have a favorite animal oh bubs is my i bubs is my favorite everything okay and um but like icky will bulldog with me so it's like if i need to pick him up in a hurry he'll be like let's play and i'm like no bitch we're running for our lives and he's like yeah so i just left him to die and i run back to the bedroom and i get in bed with joe and then the bathroom lights start flashing you're kidding me i'm not did you wake the motherfucker up i wake him up and i go baby that's calm i'd be like shit i was being so because he gets so fucking mad at me i don't that care I don't you're know how, dying i that's how i feel and i don't want to deal with him like that while i'm dying you know what i mean so even if i'm about to be fucking murdered and strangled to death by a demonic entity i don't want to deal with joe's bullshit on top of that you know what i'm saying so i'm like baby um all the lights in the house are flickering on and off and there's a crazy monster sound coming from the cabinets but really icky needs to pee (laughs) he hadn't even gone yet i abandoned that little fucker in the kitchen and so joe goes joe's like he gets up and he like joe gets up and leaves the room he goes the lights are flashing and i was like I know that's that's why i just fucking told you bro and then all i hear him do is go to the bathroom and then he comes back into our room and he goes, I don't know what's wrong with the lights flashing. And I was like, it's not about the lights flashing. It's the dog that needs to go pee. He's like, Icky needs to pee. It is about the lights flashing. The fucking demon in your house. Right, but more than anything. That's entered like, your body. I know. That you've brought to Colorado. You are not sleeping here tonight. Then, You're going to my parents' that. No, basement. I'm Fuck you, dude. I'm scared. Don't scare me extra. I'm really scared. You're putting on a show and I'm really scared. <laughs> Do you think you should sleep in my bed with me? I was going to ask. Shane sleeps down here. I so told we you can we're sleep with the same bed? Yes. Okay, thank God. Thank God I'll have some watch... warm body next to me for <laughs> can once. Can we watch Netflix kids movies all night? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to watch some gay shit? Uh-huh. Oh, we could do some gay shit. Uh, oh, you oh, we, we can, can, can watch some, some gay <laughs> shit. Let's be clear. Then all the power goes off. And we're just sitting in darkness. And so I turned the flashlight on my phone while Joe went to take the dog potty because I thought it would be nice for him to have a light when he came back in the room. And he screamed at me for that. He's like, would you turn your fucking light off? What's that on for? And I was like, because it's dark. Bold move coming from the loud man that wakes you up when he comes to bed. It's so wild, bro. It's so wild. He's like, will you turn your podcast off? My podcast, which is so soft, a mouse can't hear it. <laughs> and then he gets in bed and, start, and within moments is scream snoring, fast asleep. Like I could put a fucking... You know, my whole fist up his ass and he wouldn't wake up. And he's like, can you turn your fucking podcast off? This is what the podcast sounds like. 
<laughs> he's like, can you turn that the Lizzie fuck down? She puts it like right next to her ear and she sleeps on it, which cannot be good. Like the no, radiation. And I even told Joe phone. that I was, he's like, can Maybe- you put it under your pillow? And I was like, I'm kind of scared putting it under my pillow all the time, babe. Like, I feel like I'm going to get a brain cancer from it. And he's just from the man who won't let me burn a candle, which I have him burning right here. <laughs> fuck you, Joe. No, just kidding. I'm sorry, Joe. I don't want the I chemicals either. Too. I don't want the chemicals either. And yeah. there is a, f- a, a chemical free candle in my office, yeah. which I should have brought down yeah. in happy light, bright news. <laughs> Lizzie bought me a boy mom bracelet at Target. It's he's a so boy mom. cute. I feel like if I could get my hands on Taylor Swift tickets for next week, I'd be so like b- beat it out in well no i'm not getting more beads but oh, at least even though it's not bracelets. a taylor swift bead like it looks like it in the dark right 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 right. so i'd feel a part of the club i could make you some taylor swift bracelets i'm about to start making mine for the next one i'm not gonna see you before she's here oh she's but in i'll Denver just give them Friday. to you it's a big week it's also shane's birthday today on... oh as this episode the goes live is that the 19th yeah <gasps> happy birthday, happy shane, birthday dawson. shane dawson if you haven't yet wished him a happy birthday, go to anywhere and wish him a happy birthday. Scream it from the fucking streets, I you guys. I love that man so much. If we, if we all go to the streets at 9.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and scream happy birthday, Shane Dawson, he might hear it. I don't know. Let's try it. I don't know if there's anyone. When, no, I don't want to promote them coming to the neighborhood. So No, no, no. Don't come to the neighborhood. Just stand out in your own street and scream it. And also that doesn't, I mean... This is boring for the podcast, but logistically, this is 11 minutes into the podcast. You said 9.15. The podcast goes up at 9.14. They're not going to know for another 10 minutes that we're saying happy birthday to Shane at 9.15. Should we push it back 11.45? At 11.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go out to the streets and wish Shane a happy birthday. Scream it. Today's podcast is sponsored by HelloFresh. And with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You skip all those dreaded trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That is why it's America's number one meal kit. Get ready to take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. From chef-crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Those pre-portioned ingredients help cut down on food waste while step-by-step instructions make cooking a breeze not a chore and that is massive for someone like me who is not the best in a kitchen. HelloFresh offers more than just delicious dinners. It's now easier than ever to skip that extra grocery store run by adding snacks, sides, and more to your weekly order. Simply shop HelloFresh Market and take a pick from a curated selection of over 100 items. You all know I have everyone in my life using HelloFresh because it's so convenient to walk downstairs and know that you have a delicious meal waiting for you that you can actually prepare in a reasonable amount of time. So go to hellofresh.com slash the sip 50 and use code the sip 50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com slash the sip 50 and use code the sip 50 for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. <laughs> um, okay, what else did you put on this top of show? Oh, you're traveling here. You had a whole long essay. Is it worth it? Well, I mean, all I'm going to say is if we're doing gentle parenting, an airplane is not the fuck in place for it and what do you mean by gentle parenting like when like, they're crying when they know just... when you don't say no to your children and you allow them to be a fucking nuisance and a psychopath <laughs> in public like that is not okay that uh-huh. is not okay and is that what you are experiencing today? yeah this poor woman was traveling alone with her two children and, i mean and that's by the, hard it is hard and by the sound of it i was like oh they must be like very small and i look over and it's like mm, these kids are fucking 10 this is not okay. This is not cute. Like you need to beat the shit out Just of Just wait children. until you are a mom of two and then you're going to understand. Pro- I mean, I'm not saying you will, but. Oh, I'm sure I'll understand the trauma and the, and the pain of it all. You know, like I know it's hard. you're going to tell them to shut up. There's not a world in which my kids are going to be acting like that. You know what I mean? Unless they like have arbitrary, arbitrary oppositional defiant disorder. This was crazy. This kid was literally screaming. Not, but like it, he didn't mean it. He was just looking for attention going, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Really fucking loud, but not like upset or actually meaning it. And she just kept being like, baby, like that's not very nice. Like that's not a very nice thing for you to say. And like beyond it not being very nice, it was just so fucking annoying to hear this small child's voice just saying i hate you over and over and over and he was kicking the seats why didn't you tell him to shut up i thought about it at one point because i never like to comment on another person's parenting and i thought about turning around and being like if your child doesn't stop kicking my fucking seat i'm gonna lose my shit on him and she had two of them and then at one point they were all passed out and i was like oh thank god they probably exhausted themselves dealing with the worst one (laughs) 
What do you want from me? Well, I don't. You put all of these. Oh, which ones here. do you? Oh, you want to talk about them? Sure. Okay. So, have you heard that Elon Musk and the Zuck are gonna fight? Well, I heard that was a thing, and then I heard Elon's mom called it off. Elon's mom called it off. <laughs> That's what I did. You tell me that, Chris. She's uh, like, no, boys, come back in. It's dinner time. Yeah, somebody told me that Elon's mom. Elon's was mom like, can't do that. Well allegedly she did what a buzzkill and then i mean i know that you're not like up with the times but did you see instagram zuck <laughs> threads literally stole threads yeah i'm done i'm not, there's not a chance i think we just need to let twitter fucking die like the <laughs> fact that these people are coming the amount of people i saw posting like we're on threads now it's like i'm not coming with you there <laughs> I didn't join you on Twitter. I'm not going to join you here. People keep talking about how Twitter's been dying for years. Let it fucking rest in peace. Well, spoiler alert, it's just as bad as Twitter ever was. And there's more people because everyone that has an Instagram already technically has a thread. Like you have to activate it. Yeah. Just like, so there's going to be like, so many more users than ever were on Twitter already on threads. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, of course it's going to be Twitter, but worse. Miss me with that. So far they haven't put like a trending page. It's kind of like a, uh, an accumulation of who you follow and who they think you want to follow. Chris is telling us it's true. Elon's mom claimed to have called it off. Oh, wow. But um, allegedly the drama right now is because Elon Musk is like competition is fine. Stealing is not. Yeah. And when Elon bought Twitter for like $42 million, he then laid off a lot of employees and those laid off employees were then swooped up by Instagram's oh, wow. Mark Zuckerberg or Meta's. Mm-hmm. And so Elon's Also, I claiming, love that he thinks he can rebrand to not be the loathsome Facebook by calling it Meta. Like, we see you. Girl. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say Facebook is loathsome. I would say that it's the most popular social media app on the planet. It has the most daily users of anything ever. And it's the devil. I think Facebook's fine in comparison to Twitter. Do you forget that documentary we watched about all this? The Social Dilemma. I agree. But I'm saying from a standpoint of like being on a platform, I think the most toxicity comes from Twitter and potentially now threads. Fair. Which, I mean, I logged into my threads and I said, hey, girlies, but will I ever thread again? Probably not. Please don't. I probably (laughs) won't. Don't do it. Stay strong in your resolve. Mm Mm-hmm. United, we stand against threat. Should I miss another social media launch? Like, I miss TikTok. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did think it's nice. Like, I don't do all that short form, which, like, maybe I'd be better off if I did. I don't know how. But it's like, I don't have to worry about, like, trying to make an edit of my wedding for thread or yeah. TikTok or an edit of, like, saying we're pregnant for threat or all these. St- I don't know. I like that I can focus on YouTube and I can have a place where I put all my energy instead of putting half ass energy into everything. It's what you're passionate about. Yeah. Yeah. The other stuff is different versions of storytelling. It's just not our yeah. version. And I also think that it's so del- it's such a diluted form of communication that it's like bad for the world. <laughs> right. As a, as a person who can go down a black hole of this shit for fucking five hours, that's bad for the world. I wish I never had access to it. She says that as she told me she's back. No, that's what I told you. As a person who can sit there and do it for five I hours. I know, but you were off for how long? Did you like... Like get... a week. Oh. Okay. Maybe three. Okay. Um, what's this wife's plan? Their IVF births within days of each other? Dude, I saw this crazy fucking story in People Magazine. These, So these this lesbian couple both wanted to have daughter, children at the same time. And they wanted it because they wanted to experience the same things together. So they got... Are they a couple? Mm-hmm. They're married. They're wives so wow so one wife took her eggs out and put it in her other wife and the other wife took her eggs out and put it in the other wife so they're carrying each other's children with the same sperm donor and they got uh they got pregnant the same time like the same day and gave birth within days of each other and they bo- so they both took as well mm-hmm. wow i mean Isn't that cute it's very cute and it's not much different than like the process Shane and I are having Mm -mm. to do as gay men. Yeah. It's just interesting that they're both women and can both carry their own children and they like are pregnant. Wow. Isn't that cute? Is really cute. I mean, did you see all the Chrissy Teigen stuff as well? No. Oh, so she had a baby Mm -hmm. and then like a month and a half later announced another baby. What? And everyone's like, what? Wait, like a a full baby? Full baby. Like a full cooked baby? And she, yes, and she did this huge long Instagram story or Instagram post in like notes about it being like, because she had a very public miscarriage Mm -hmm. or I think the child, I don't know. It's, it was not a good situation. I think she carried the child to term and then Mm. it didn't make it on its way out Mm -hmm. or something. Sorry, this is so dark now. But she had told John, her husband, John Legend, mm-hmm. you might have heard of him. Your boy. Um, that she didn't think she could like t- 
take on that again. And so they enlisted a surrogate Mm. because obviously there were also some risks involved with her because that had happened to her previously. And um, they try then I guess at the very last minute she was like, well, I also want to give it one last try Mm. just right now. And she ended up getting pregnant. The first one that they implanted in the surrogate didn't take, but then like a month later they did another one. So they were essentially on the same trajectory. Chrissy was carrying her own baby. And then she had a surrogate carrying an embryo of her and John as well. And so now they have babies like a month apart from each other. Yeah. (laughs) Well, more than Irish twins, but and it seemed like her and her surrogate really got along and even like had movie nights together and oh, like cute. you know she like did a whole they're bumping around yeah that's cute very adorable i love that wow thanks for telling me that um what was it oh i wanted to do our little ai plus the sip do you want to do it yeah we'll do it quickly um so i wanted to see if ai like knew about us fucked with us Knew what was going on. If this hurts my feelings. So I said, who is Ryland Adams? They said he's an American YouTuber, podcast host, and social media personality. He was born on May 14th of 1991. Correct. In Denver, Colorado. Incorrect. Incorrect. I was born in Salt Lake City, Utah. He's a Utah girly. Gained popularity through his YouTube channel. Did not. Started it clever. I guess, well, they said gained popularity. Yeah. Eh, Where he vlogs about his daily life's challenges and collaborations with other YouTubers. I don't really collaborate I'm with I'm literally YouTubers. right here. R- <laughs> Ryland Adams is known for his relationship with Shane Dawson, another prominent YouTuber. They began dating in 2016, got engaged in 2019. Um, they've collabed, da, 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 including their podcast called The Sip. Their podcast, Shane and I's podcast. Interesting. Where, where they discuss pop culture, current events, and personal stories. Apart from his YouTube career, Ryland Adams has also worked as a freelance writer and producer, appeared on television shows. What television shows? I know, oh, that's CSI saying, when like, you're Justin Timberlake's backdrop. Beaver, and that wasn't even really me. Has appeared on television shows, has interviewed celebrities on red carpets and events, has a significant following on social media platforms, including Instagram, Twitter, and where he shares. I, no, I don't share my life on Twitter. I said, who is Lizzie Gordon? And I said, who? I apologize. <gasps> but I couldn't find any notable public figures or references to a person named Lizzie Gordon. In my I told training, you this was going to hurt my feelings at lunch. I said, if this if it's going to mm-hmm. hurt my feelings. In and my training hurts. data up until September 2021. 21, it's possible that Lizzie Gordon may be a private individual or a lesser known personality or a relatively new figure who has gained prominence without my knowledge cut off. Okay. After my knowledge cut off. She, he just keeps going, which is like further digging the knife deep. Like he needs to shut the fuck up because I'm about to deck his fucking ass. He says, it's difficult for me to provide a specific Chris, answer. If he knows Chris, I might need you to Can not you tell me. please provide more If it knows context, who Chris is, I'm literally not available. It gave me the same thing for Chris. <laughs> Thank Maybe God. put it into chat GPT though because this is a different one called ask ai did you spell my name wrong no i even asked you at lunch to double check even though i know how to spell your name devastating so then we did ask chat gpt to write an outline for our podcast the but if it doesn't know who i am how could it well here's what it said I don't know who Lizzie mm-hmm. Gordon is. She's an obscure ass bitch that nobody cares about. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of just, wow. I think this is like telling me if I didn't have a podcast, how to have a podcast. Cause it really clearly writes like introduction. You like giggled in the car though. Welcome to the sip podcast where Ryland Adams and Lizzie G- Gordon bring you juicy conversations, Ooh. entertaining stories and thoughtful discussions on pop culture, personal experiences and everything in between segment one, getting to know our hosts. We introduce ourselves. They discuss their individual journeys. Uh, oh, that's not one. Two. Hi, I'm topics. Lizzie Gordon. If you don't know me by now, guest interview. You. So this is less specific to us and more like, wow, you could literally say like, what should I do? Oh my gosh, they're giving us segments. What are the segments? Maybe this is better than I've ever thought of. I like one of the segments. Segment five: sip or spill. <gasps> what I like. In this segment, Ryland and Lizzie play a game called sip or spill where they take turns answering personal and juicy questions. The hosts have an option to either sip their drink according or indicate Spit it in each other's faces. Or spit it, opting to skip that particular question. That's kind of cute. Like you sip it and if you're going to answer it. Yeah. Wow. Dirty. (laughs) The sip of the week. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What's the sip of the week? Wow. Is AI going to ruin our lives? Yeah. What's the sip of the week? (laughs) 
the sip of the week, Rylan and Lizzie wrap up each episode by sharing their favorite thing of the week, whether it be a new TV show, book, song, or anything that's caught their attention. They wow, invite, we are going to do this. They we? invite <laughs> listeners to try out and recommend an item, share their thoughts on recommendations. Yes, let's, you guys. What's the sip of the week? It's share good. it in the comments below. Well, should we add the sip of the week? Yes, yes, absolutely. That has such a good ring, the sip of the week. Yes. The and if I was Shane, I'd go on Fiverr and get a jingle for it. Could you please? <laughs> do you want me to do the yeah, jingle? Yeah, I'll pay for it. It's no, 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 no. Go, go I thought you meant you're going to go on Fiverr to get it. <laughs> no, I was going to just do it. Wow, I could probably have this write us like a new show tagline. Like, yeah. whoa, this is why holds. The thing is, like, I'm shocked that you had such a positive response because I've tried to use ChatGBT to, like, title my movies because I suck at titles and they're always so bad. <laughs> I'm like, title my buddy comedy. They're like, two buddies, one comedy. <laughs> sip of the week. It, wake up, wake <gasps> up. Chat GPT doesn't know who you guys are either. Yeah. What the fuck? I literally am Googleable. You guys need to work a little harder. Girl, oh. I'm literally Googleable. <laughs> Can you, this is when I start fighting with Chat GPT and I'm like blind with rage right now. Like we're all laughing. Everybody's having a good time, but I'm like, look, like, look in my eyes. Okay. Well, at least we got the sip of the week. Do I look like I'm having a good time? A great time. I'm devastated. All right, you guys. Uh, we'll be right back in the car. Should we go to Pinkberry or uh, Cold Stone first? Fuck. You're taking too long. Whichever Pinkberry. Whichever further, so then on the way back, oh, yeah, yeah. get the closer. Oh, you want to go to the further first? Yes. Yeah. Pinkberry it is. Let's not say let's go to the further, though. What do you mean? Insidious oh, fans know. Yeah. We're not trying to go there, baby. We got to stay here. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> cutting. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am so excited that we have a brand new sponsor to our show, which just so happens to be FabFitFun. FabFitFun is the best way to save money on beauty and lifestyle products from the brands you love while also discovering new brands and treating yourself to something nice without having to overpay. Seriously, Lizzie and I both got FabFitFun boxes and we were texting each other like it was Christmas morning. The products are incredible. And even as a man, I got like the most gorgeous throw blanket, a candle, wonderful body lotion, an eye serum that is incredible. As a FabFitFun member, you'll get exclusive access to shop thousands of curated products from top lifestyle products and brands. I'm talking Fenty, Kate Spade, Glossier, and so many more for up to 70% off. These aren't sample sizes, they're not low quality products, and they're not the discounted lines or unsold merch that you'll find at discounted stores. And I know you're thinking, well, what's their secret? Well, they have over a million members, and FabFitFun helps brands grow by placing massive orders with big promotions and in exchange these brands offer up early access exclusive drops and steep discounts on the most sought after products lizzie and i have legitimately been using all of the products we've received I i'm not kidding when i'm talking about the quality is luxurious the brands are incredible this is so much fun and if you want to join us you can sign up at fabfitfun.com slash the sip you get to customize your box and you'll get access to discounts that are up to 70 percent off on brands like fenty free people and our place just to name a few. And if you're not in love with this season's options, take the credit to shop their exclusive flash sales of up to 70% and save on the biggest name brands out there. If you join FabFitFun as a new seasonal member right now, you'll also get 20% off your membership. So your first box is only $47.99 for up to a $300 value box each season. But only while supplies last, FabFitFun boxes do sell out. So join FabFitFun today and save at fabfitfun.com slash the sip. That's fabfitfun.com slash the sip. Today's podcast is also sponsored by Lumi, and Body BO sounds funny, but having it, not so much. And that's why I'm so excited to tell you about Lumi, the world's best whole body deodorant. It's clinically proven to control odor everywhere, pits, privates, and beyond for a whopping 72 hours. As an OBGYN, Lumi's founder doctor, Shannon Klingman, met thousands of women who were concerned with odor below the belt. Through clinical testing, she discovered it wasn't the vagina to blame, but bacteria on the skin. So she created Lumi, a PA optimized aluminum free deodorant that actually works and works everywhere with over 150,000 five star reviews to prove it. Plus new customers get $5 off Lumi starter pack with code SIP at lumideodorant.com. I'm a sweaty boy and I love, love, love using Lumi. And as you've seen in this episode, I've started putting Lumi on my butt because I get butt sweats. And I've personally been loving a few of their scents, including clean tangerine, toasted coconut, and lavender sage. And like I mentioned, Lumi is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. I'm talking pits, under boobs, thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. 
So Lumi's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash or deodorant wipes, and free shipping. And as a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code SIP at lumideodorant.com. That equates to 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code SIP. Oh, give me my sunglasses back. I can't be seen with that trash. Oh my god, oh my god. It's so dark. We can't even be filming right now. Do you want me to turn my lights on? We <laughs> don't have lights. I have lights, dude. <laughs> Are we rolling? I mean, we're rolling, but is this going to be used? No. <laughs> Look, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have Chris's cam up in a second, but Lizzie... Oh my gosh. So, yes, Pinkberry is a little far away because it's going extinct. Okay. I mean, when's the last time you've been to a Pinkberry? I don't know, but it definitely didn't take me an hour and 52 <laughs> minutes to fucking reach the Pinkberry location. It was literally 26 minutes from my house, and you're having a full-blown breakdown. I was 32 keep, when I got there. No, 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 you're acting like we're going to Kansas. Now. She keeps being like, then stop taking me to Kansas! And I was like... 25 minutes away. Oh my god. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, but 25 You're gonna minutes live. In, in Colorado is like fucking states away. No, it's 25 <laughs> minutes. And so as we're driving, there's like a mini downtown esque area. It's like Culver City. It's not downtown, but and there's big buildings. She goes, What's that? And I go, Oh, it's the DTC. Which everyone knows. No, it's literally the DTC. And she goes, If you don't fucking stop with your acronym. And I was like, it's literally the DTC, and we drive past, and there's a big sign that says DTC. And I was like, what's that? What's that, mama? I refuse to acknowledge Oh, that's that actually happened. what it's called. I mean, I it stands for the Denver called. Tech Center. Oh. But it's called the DTC. DTC. Right. Anyone that lives in Denver knows. Just like the Denver International Airport. Which <laughs> every, nobody just says, I'm flying into Denver. They say, I'm flying into DIA. I hear it all no, the fucking it's time. It's called DIA. <laughs> And I no, it's called the Denver International Airport, motherfucker. I don't, and you literally were like, well, I don't think it's an international hub. Literally, no, no, it's an international no, hub. No, no. Busier than Los Angeles. Okay, the camera okay. shook. I'm so pissed off okay, about this. Okay, okay. Hear me out, bitch. <laughs> People know LAX by the letters LA and X. Because I'm not, it's one of the most famous no, airports for its acronym. No, fucking call it. I'm on your team. I was saying it's one of the most famous yes, airports for yes. its acronym. Okay. And I understand, yes, DIA might not be worldly renowned for it being DIA. That's my point. But it, That is my <laughs> only point. But like every... That is the only point I ever fucking made. I know that it is a hub of were... international travel. I want to honk so hard right now. Do it. But it would be everyone else thinking it's listen, at them when listen. it's at you. I wish I could take you to fucking I Kansas wish I and could. honk. I wish I could take you back a few fucking hours ago when you said, I regretted not enjoying the time I got to spend with you last time you were here. I'm not going to have... you're screaming in my face. I'm not going to have a voice because I just screamed so loud. Thank God. <sighs> oh my God, I'm in a turn only lane. Great. We're never and they can't even see Bay. us. Where the fuck are we, Can bro? you open the thing so you can read? And that's the other thing. I was like, once you see how beautiful this picture is, you're going to be grateful that it's, I took you 26 minutes to Pinkberry. It looks delicious. It's a blend of strawberry and dragon fruit, which I definitely fuck with. Frozen yeah. yogurt topped with dream sprinkles. And by the way, you guys, I have I fuck with dreams. Okay, well, they can't see us. And it's not a drive through So let us go grab this Pinkberry dream. And we'll be right back. I am excited. <laughs> Okay, we're pulling into Pinkberry, and I was saying, like, my biggest fear is them not having the product yet, because, like, I know Coldstone has it, because, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, oh, this is good lighting. Should I just stay no, right here? No, this is literally the entrance of the parking lot. This is not a I'm spot. just ruffling oh your feathers, mama. Ah! <laughs> That's a curb. <laughs> I hate, I hate you. you. I hate you. I wouldn't. Oh, shoot. He's trying to get into that car. Sorry. Sorry, sir. We're just looking for some good lighting. We also look wild. Shit. We look like a fucking Barbie mental patient. Fucking. We'll stay like they in. took my shoes away because they were worried I was going to use the laces to do something awful. Okay. Well, let's hope it's here. This is nice lighting. I'm blown the fuck out. No, you're. I. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> um, should I park Riley, elsewhere? Nice I think you should park facing the sun. 
Okay, because there's... Okay, Miss ask this Can't man, Park ask in the this middle of a parking lot. Get the lot. fuck out of our way. Normally, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'm totally chill parking in the middle the of middle a parking lot. The middle of nowhere lot. being the fucking Where Jack I in the box in Parker. Waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> I, no, I think he's waiting for a date. Well, I just can't... I can't take that pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the car? I gotta pay attention. You guys need to stop talking to me. <laughs> this is no longer chill. This used to be chill. Chill went out the window a long time ago. Let's see how this parking spot looks. <gasps> They've got the Barbie what? thing! Are you kidding? Yeah. She I can. just want to make sure that I'm... In okay, the Lizzie is already causing so much drama. She's screaming and everyone's looking at us. So I said, we've got to get the vlog camera. Hi, podcast. Here's the vlog. We can come into the shade. And I was like, Welcome. go get your camera, Lizzie, because mine's mounted to the screen. And she's screaming at Chris to do it. And she's like, I can't do it. I'm in heels. I'm living my dumpster Barbie dream. Um, oh, what were you saying about my sweat ass? You got a sweaty ass. I, know, I mean, it's drying a little bit, but I don't know if you want to put that on. It's not as bad as it Is was it there. really bad? <laughs> you don't think other boys have this problem? No, I know other boys don't have this problem. And also, Turn around, Chris. Let me see. I don't. It's not there. Oh. Wow, what's it like to not have a moist ass? <laughs> Every time we get out of the Tesla, he has a line of sweat on his ass. It might be the type of pants, though. No, no it's no, different pairs of all pants my pants. every time. Oh. It's all my pants. <laughs> Why do I have sweaty ass? I don't know, dude, but it's a lot. I've never felt so demoralized. Do you not know what it looks like, too? No, of course I do. I can't see my own ass. Sad. I'm not a giraffe. You have tags on your clothing. Yeah, I ask This you. is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Look how thick my pussy looks. <laughs> This is hell. I've literally never hated myself more than oh, I do right now. Should we make Chris? <laughs> Chris, can you just get us the pro yes and get us back at the car? What we're here for. Barbie. <laughs> it's the way this family is looking at us right now. I know. This is the thing about vlogging in public. You just have to, like, tunnel vision. It's me and you. It's you and me, and that's it. I can't do this. <laughs> okay, cut. Cut. <laughs> Do you think they're looking at our Barbie get-ups or my sweaty ass? <laughs> Stop moving, moving them! Oh, you want me to not move them? <laughs> All right, three smalls. Give me pink one. It tastes exactly like a go-gurt. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love all your Barbie. All right, let's get back to Barbie. <laughs> Can I start eating? No! Still, oh, I just realized you still have the tag on you. <laughs> Why do you still have the tag? I cannot participate with her. I can't do this in public she's anymore. she's trying to eat it before we start. I gotta be really honest with all of you. I don't think I can ever be in public like this again. <laughs> like, I've never hated myself so much. And I don't suffer from a low self-esteem, but right now I'm like, we're the worst. I'm a thick pussy fucking mental hospital Barbie patient. <laughs> oh, we're lady. running! We're running? <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> I don't want to go in cold stone. Okay. One, take, two. Can I taste it now? One, take, two. No. Um, you can't, no, we need a thumbnail. You need to just respect being a YouTuber. It's a crap. <laughs> okay, up to this camera, Chris. You need to just respect <laughs> being a YouTuber. <laughs> It's the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, because, okay, we can try it. No, no, oh, you monster. Who is that? Fine. Okay, Chris, you can eat too. Go back to your GoPro camera. You. Wow, you look so cute in that shirt, Chris. Thank you. Okay. I think everyone looks cute. Mm. How that is, is it? good. I love pink berry. Yeah, that is mm. good. Because it's, oh, the air is mm. blasting. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> they probably couldn't hear us. Mm. Um. It just tastes like exactly it's like a go -gurt. so good. I, you know, there's a special mm. place in my heart for should like we, actual frozen yogurt above just ice cream. Should like, we give them some ASMR crunches? Mm. I think that's going to infuriate them. Oh, my bad, guys. But the thing about this mm. is on a hot summer day, mm. it's refreshing. It's not going to weigh you down. Mm -mm. It's delicious. It's light. The mm -hmm. touch of sprinkles is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's actually so mm. good. Oh my yeah, that's god. that's delish. It was rough to have everyone looking at us. That was awful. I mean, we are begging for attention, but it's like... That's the thing about me. I'm mm. absurd and I'm loud, but I swear to god I'm not begging for attention. You don't think so? I'm emotionally not. Wow. I'm incredibly um, 
like I don't notice my surroundings and it really pisses off my boyfriend. I'm like mm -hmm. unaware of everything around me all the time, mm -hmm. which worked out really well for this. Yeah, that's a beautiful place to be. <laughs> I just do tunnel vision and I just won't make eye contact with anybody in the building. That's crazy. Why? I'd die inside if not. I'd feel like you. I hate it. You here. were dying. I was dying. I, <laughs> I was having fun at you too, dying. Mm. I'm obsessed with this. Were they all it's looking so at us? Good. Yeah. The mom in there, like, literally mm. turned around like, what in the fuck? Well, it's probably because of me. She's like, he's probably gay. She's probably like, he is so hot. You think she's homophobic? Mm. She might have thought you were Harry Styles. I should have said, guess what, bitch? I'm pregnant, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed my boy mom bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you happy we drove Holy the 25 shit. minutes? I'll be going back. This is the best thing mm. I These are all over LA. This is the best thing I've ever had on the podcast. You think, really, it is. Yeah. yeah. You really think pink berries are still like really popping in LA? Mm hmm. They're I, all over. I like this better than traditional, like, frozen creamy yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, this is delish. Mm. It's incredible. Mm. And it's fine for us to overdose on this because. It's so. Uh, mm. Delicious. It's so healthy. Wow. <laughs> What are the stars? Because they're not crunchy, are they? Mm. I don't know. They're beautiful. Mm. It does have a Gogurt vibe. Mm -hmm. wow. Can I get another? <laughs> Nobody's. So uh, worst case scenario for a podcast because we're not talking. We're yeah, good fucking <laughs> luck, Cold Stone, you losers. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna be... Thank God we didn't have to share this. I... <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> this was like a whole battle. Lizzie's like... We're sharing one! And I was like, no, let's get three. And she's like, N like so offended. And I was like, you're not paying for them, girl. Just chill out, mama. I don't know. I felt what? like I was emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get a picture with them. We did. We just posed. I wanted like a cute Instagram picture oh. with our house pins. I inhaled this bitch. Oh, so we'll buy more. <laughs> <laughs> we go get more for the photos. Mm. So good. 10 out of 10, honestly. For mm. real. I'd, I'd give it extra credit. <laughs> While we're doing this, should we do the... Wait, what's our new segment? No, that's the very end. I mean, we don't have to follow ChatGPT's rules. <laughs> oh. I guess. What, what's it called? The sip, sip... What is it? Wait, I can find it. Hold on. <laughs> I almost just want to, like leave all of you so I can enjoy this in peace. Honestly, it's like, <laughs> stop I finished my right of the now. week. The sip of the week. Is it all over? Oh, is this all of our sips of the week? <laughs> oh. My sip of the week is the Barbie movie um, pink berry dessert. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. I guess it's all of our sip star of the week. Yeah. Oh, did I just make that up? The sip star of the week? Oh, I forget. The sip of the week. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done. Take me to Cold Stone. I... <laughs> <laughs> I would drive 25 minutes again for this. Oh my that was God. so fucking good. I actually don't think there's anything. <laughs> like, and, and that's the sip. <laughs> that's the fucking episode. I almost regret like doing this on camera. Yeah. Because I feel like this should be something that I should just enjoy. This is private. By myself. <laughs> yeah. Naked. It's like, in bed. Watching this feels like only the summer I turned You're pretty. welcome. Do you want to know what really my good. like guilty pre pre pleasure sip of the week is? Yeah, as soon as you get that demon out of your body, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on well, sis. She keeps, like, stuttering everything she says, and I'm like, literally, get the demon out, mama. I literally told you I've been up since fucking three dealing with demons. Mm. <laughs> anyway. It must be hard for you. I started watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. Period? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it, and it's really bad. What's that one about? It's about a girl who's attractive now. Mm-hmm by summer standards of prettiness. This is a 20 out of 10. And she's in a love triangle with brothers who are also her best friends from so growing up. So she's making the brothers be incestuous without knowing it? No, that's not what that means. The same dick in the same hole? Oh, but that's not incestuous. I know, but it seems nasty. I, I haven't gotten to that. Like, I'd be pissed if I found that out. If I was like, <laughs> what? Like, how many hours apart? Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> you didn't think of that while you're no, watching I don't, this? No, I'm not a brother. I don't think about these things. You're a brother. Of course you think about brother lovering. No, if you were... if it, The opposite. Two sisters yeah. fucking the same boy. I, that That's offensive. Okay, so now you feel it how would hurt my It would hurt my feelings, but I wouldn't be like... 
you. Well, you no matter like what, it's all, it's all. I just hate it. I love it. This and is it I, Mindy Kaling? Is that her thing? Oh, I don't, I don't think so. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Wow. Can I get another one? This might yeah, be the first right? thing I've ever, like, actually wanted to bathe in. Uh, how much like, more do you have? Cold plunging we're, in we're this? We're ready to go into the cold stone. Well, you Let's know, cold plunge into co uh, cold stone. I think Shane needs one, so we gotta get one for him, and obviously one more round We can't bring one home. It's gonna melt. They yeah. melted on the walk to the car. It's Shane's already just gone. shit out of luck, buddy. Happy birthday. We're so fucking oh. sorry. Bring him here for his birthday. All right, yeah. we can cut. We'll go Throw to him in stone. the car for an hour and 52 minutes. I did Drag his ass all the way out here past the CTB or whatever. Why don't you hop over to DIA, take a flight over to CTP, jump out of the car, and pick up a fucking... Aren't my Barbie glasses cute? Do you want to get one more literally just for the photo? Just one. Mm. For the photo? No. What is happening? Are you fiending? Was... You're doing some drug addict We'll take the there. photo and Chris will eat it. He wants another one. No. <laughs> they were small, so it's probably the equivalent of one large. You don't want to go take a picture don't with the one from Cold Stone? Him. No, it's not as cute as this. You don't know that. It's not as sleek and el It's <laughs> not as Barbie. We haven't even had it. No, but it's not as Barbie. It's like thick How do you ice know cream that? that's going to make us feel sick. You're tripping. Yogurt is light and it's Barbie. <laughs> Hold on. I'm that's why it has the Barbie someone. branding. It has the literal Barbie branding because it's Barbie approved. The Cold so Stone. So is the Cold Stone one. No, it's not Barbie approved. How do you know? Because that does. It then why are we even doing this? This says Barbie the movie trademarked. <laughs> Cold Stone just did a concoction. No, that they you're out of your fucking mind. They also they, have Barbie the movie only in theaters trademark. Oh, so shut the fuck up and take me to Cold Stone. But I'm sick of this. Does that look as visually intriguing? Yeah, even more so. Burp I would coming say. Coming in three, two. Ah! Oh, wow. We gotta go. <laughs> we, gotta. <laughs> we gotta go. You can't. I'll air it out. I'll air it out. No, we're leaving. It was disrespectful. Get your things. I really am sorry. <laughs> it's because you called my sweaty ass. <laughs> original to me, which is like hurtful. What? I called your sweetie. Thank you so much for that. It was like incredible. You, you said it's unique to me, and that really hurts yeah. my feelings that I'm alone. I, I mean, need to feel send like. Off in the comments below if you got a sweaty ass. My or if your husband alone. has one. You're definitely not alone. My husband literally doesn't have one. I know. I'm asking if their husbands have oh, one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sticky as fuck, mama. I don't know if this is interesting anymore. I think we need to go to court. Bye. Like, honest to God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I think I just looked see. at the viewfinder and she got, because I'm trying to find light for the cold stone, because I know I have to find the light first, because after we get the ice cream, she's just going to start eating it, no matter if you can see us or not. And she's looking at the viewfinder and she's like, just stay right there. You look so hot. Like, I'm looking at you in there and I don't even recognize that I person. Don't. You look so good. Like, that is a hot man. Oh my gosh. I'm just like... Is it Iron Mind tripping? Look at that guy. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> but what if this truck isn't here anymore? It'll be here. You really believe? I feel it. If, yeah. Let me just button my shirt back up. <laughs> 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 Embarrassing station part two. I, we're not bringing a place. camera, right? Of oh, course we are. Camera. No, we can't. Elizabeth, <laughs> have you met me? Oh my god, bro. Everything for the content. <laughs> we should bring the camera in there it's awful it's like here's the deal dude i can't i can't i can't i just can't <laughs> do you know what i mean another family's going in there don't look at my ass i don't want to feel isolated again oh it's not isolating honey it's isolating Take a step i'm the only one with sweaty ass in this world <laughs> you don't have a line right now oh yeah you do <laughs> just like you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have a it vagina and I pissed out of it. It doesn't seem fair that you're laughing at it, but you don't know what it looks like. No, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. And I know that everyone else around me is saying it doesn't happen to them. So it's like, I'm alone in this. Does she no. know about your sweaty ass? I'm not alone. So. Don't tell him. You are not It alone. might like ruin his attraction to me. <laughs> That's what it would do it. Oh, just kidding. I'm just being fancy because I've had too much sugar. <laughs> it's so packed. Hold on, hold on. Okay, one take three. One take three second stick. Hold on, let me get it. Ooh. I always have to slow Lizzie down. I'm gonna lick it. Okay, we're losing light. The sun's going down. Oh. The Barbie cold sun. It's so much more creamy. It's like an actual dessert. It's got candy flavor. All right, here we go. With graham crackers and rainbow sprinkles. Do you remember that one? Mm-hmm. 
It's not bad, but I don't want any more of it. Yeah, like, it's really, it, it does have a good, mm, it's Wait, so rich. Are we going to say that it's actually missing one of the things, though? This is not a true. Well, they're missing the whip top. This is a that, bastardized experience. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Okay, my next bite was pretty good with, like, get a lot of sprinkles from the top mm -hmm. and some graham cracker. sprinkles out a lot. I think mine's just ice cream. There's nothing in my scoop. Mm. Look at this. Well, it is just ice cream. And they missed but the But you got graham crackers. It's really mixed in. Yeah, mm. I didn't get any graham crackers. <laughs> Can I just go on record and say I don't get Cold Stone? Really? Yeah. Oh, usually I like Cold Stone, but... I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's the just so rich. I mean... I do like it. If you try the ice cream cake we have at home right now. I can't stop hearing about this fucking ice cream and cake. And well, you're going to love it once you try it. It's great. This is not bad, but it's not... The pink berry was so good. Let me see what just the pink stuff tastes like. I'm done with this. Does it even really taste like cotton candy? I, the first bite did, now it just doesn't taste like much. But I agree. The flavor profile isn't alarmingly overwhelming. It's pretty mm -hmm. subtle, actually. Subtle AF. For how sweet it is, yeah. it's not really like the business. Mm -mm. Honestly, without the sprinkles, it wouldn't work at all. And for the embarrassment, I just lived through to get it. <laughs> Bro, this bitch was like, "Where did you guys come from?" I could have. I mean, nobody was mean. It's no. just like I could die inside, looking the way I looked. Yeah. Ordering yeah. a Barbie meal with a Barbie shirt. We actually got complimented. <laughs> Someone was really sweet. No. And said how cool we look. I don't know if that's true. They did. I don't think they meant it. I no, I do. So. She was a mom, and she was like, where were you guys? Yeah. And she was like, you guys look so cool. Yeah. I thought I felt it was genuine. You did? Quite honestly. Well, that's nice. I mean, like, if nobody took this away from me, I'd probably finish it. Uh-huh. And then I'd complain about it later. I'm already upset I've had so much. But it's, like, good enough to not stop eating. Mm -hmm. I'm basically finished with the sprinkles and therefore done with this. Mm. No, it's not bad. I, just, I'm liking it right. every bite I have. I like it a little more. But it's not like the pink berry where, like... It was our sip of the week. It was the sip of the week. Mm -hmm. It would have been a crime to not finish that. Mm -hmm. And we liked it so much, we were all going to go back in and get smalls. Yeah. <laughs> but that was also a horrifying... I mean, just an embarrassing... It's not fun to... Horrified looks from everyone in the room. It's just not a fun experience to walk into a place and have everyone go... All eyes on <laughs> me. <laughs> like, I guess I like attention, but in, like, very specific ways. Not in, like, person, you know? Right. Mm -mm. Wow. Is that it? Is that what the... Can we be... Is it done? You, know, it's you want to stop rolling? Is that what you're telling me? I want to throw this away so bad. <laughs> You're going to waste ice cream? Mm hmm I was going to say, I feel like my whole life I dressed like very, very, very punk, like dyed hair, like jean jacket. You know what I mean? Like super punk rock. But yeah, when you look very punk, people look at you. <laughs> it just is what it is. Yeah, see, so, I think I don't like... I mean, on any spectrum of like... A lot. I don't think I like that kind of attention. I don't either, but I think I got used to it early mm. because of that. <laughs> I guess I really don't hate this. I know. We need to throw these it's away. It's not a 20 out of 10, but it's like, I will finish it. Oh, there's people here. Get out of here, guys. Here, I'll move. I'll no, you her. let them leave. We're in a good light. Okay. <laughs> I do kind of want a picture in the outfit, though. Yeah. You have Go to. get one. With you. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching this episode of The Sip. I hope you thought this adventure was fun. Let this was quite the adventure. It really was. <laughs> and let us know if you like, like, when we do in-the-car moments. Do you like the whole thing in the car? Or do you like the top of show, like, the first 20 minutes on the couch with the actual equipment? And do you want us in the bath? Would you rather a bath episode? I thought about the hot tub, <laughs> and then logistically I thought the bubbles would be loud. Well, could we just sit in a still tub? We could do that. I would love that. All right, you guys, make sure you're following all of us on social media. Tell us what you think of the Barbie movie when you see it. I'm literally blacking out right now. Me too. Like, I I'm gotta staring go. off into the fucking horizon <laughs> like the sugar. Lizzie isn't here anymore, but if Am she wears a sheet, say she likes it. I should you. stop because there's the cake at home. Get rid of the fucking ice cream. It's... We're done with this. We're done with it. I, I gotta say I like it. You know, <laughs> I can't stop. So, I mean, I, I think that means stop. I like it. Okay, uh, we'll see you next week. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's, that's the, the sip. sip. <sighs> you're unwell. The fact that you're still putting shit in your mouth right now is insane to me. <gasps> is that? A moth. Oh my god. A baby moth. A baby moth.